Okay, so we're asked to sketch a graph of y equals x squared plus 4x minus 5. And to do that, we need to find the important points, the intercepts, the axis intercepts, and the turning point. All right, so the y-axis intercept is easy. It's just sitting there. It's the c-value, which is negative 5. So we know it goes through the point 0 minus 5. To find the x-intercepts, we make y 0 and try and solve that equation. Right, the way to solve it, there's three ways. We try the easiest way first by inspection. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 5 and add to 4. And we can come up with numbers 5 and negative 1. 5 times negative 1 is uh, negative 5, and 5 minus 1 is 4. So there are two values, so we can write it in factorized form. And that tells us that it's going to cross the x-axis at x equals negative 5 and x equals 1 because that's what makes the bracket 0, which makes it equal to 0, which makes the equation true. And that's how you solve the quadratic. Okay, at this point, we want to now find the turning point, And there's really two ways you can do that. Because you know the quadratic is symmetrical, you can go, well, halfway between the roots is going to be the x value of the turning point. And, uh, and we can do that pretty easily, halfway between the roots. Just take the two uh, values of the root, minus 5 and 1, add them together, minus 4, divided by 2, and you get negative 2. And so x is negative 2. Or you can use the formula that the turning point x value is x equals negative b on 2a. b value is 4, so we would make it negative 4. Uh, and on 2a, a is just 1, so it's 2 times 1. So you get negative 4 on 2 again, which just is x equals negative 2. So we know the x value of the uh, turning point, and so we want to put that back into the equation to find out what the y value is, and y is going to equal negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 5, which is not negative 9. And so we know the turning point is negative 2, negative 9, and at this point all we have to do is sketch it. So we draw some axes, uh, put a graph on there, and... Add all the points that we know, and then join them up with a line, and you've done your sketch. Good job.